Well, here at home, we are tracking that breaking news from the Strip, a traffic accident possibly involving a pedestrian. Let's get straight out to 8 News Now reporter Darlene Melendez. She is live in the area with more for us. Darlene. Good evening, Zasha. We're actually on Flamingo right now, pretty close to the boulevard, but this is as far as we can get right now. As you can see, the traffic is extremely heavy in this area as uh, police investigate that crash further down the road. People out here have been telling me the road is closed uh, at that intersection and drivers are being diverted. Uh, but regarding pedestrian deaths, we did just get a report this week saying that pedestrian deaths were down in 2018 here in the Valley, but a local advocate get shared with me this evening that there isn't too much room for celebration because numbers this year are already climbing. It's a busy night at the intersection of Flamingo and Maryland. Heavy traffic and dozens of pedestrians, some following the law and some not. The last thing anyone thinks as they step off a curb is I'm going to die doing this. They all think they're going to make it. That's also where we met Erin Breen. Keeping track of the Valley's road safety statistics is her job and her passion. Flamingo Road last year was the deadliest road in Clark County for pedestrians. Overall, pedestrian deaths are up 35% in the U.S. That's according to a national study by the Governor's Highway Safety Association. Most pedestrian crashes are taking place uh, on local roads. They're happening at night. They're happening away from inter intersections. The number of pedestrian deaths down for the Valley in 20. 2018, but that's in comparison to 2017's numbers. While we did see a decrease, we were comparing ourselves to the worst year we've ever had, a year we can never have again. So far this year, a deadly start to 2019. We've had nine pedestrians killed on Valley Roads uh, year to date, which is higher than it was at this time last year. The big question, how to put an end to the senseless deaths. For Breen, it starts with drivers and pedestrians looking out for each other on the road. Everybody needs to be predictable and watch out for the other guy um, and understand that your life is fragile. Pedestrians are too trusting and they do take too many risks with their lives. And we're seeing the results of that. And we have just now confirmed with Metro Police that a pedestrian was hit on the Las Vegas Boulevard just up the road here near Flamingo. Uh, that pedestrian is in critical condition tonight. Uh, a continuing message from Aaron Green, that local advocate, take extra care on the roads. And especially this weekend, as we can see a lot of traffic in this area, of course, pertaining to this crash. But also keep in mind that this is a very busy sports weekend, so extra people on the roads. Uh, so following this crash again this evening, make sure to stay extra safe on the roads. Reporting live near the Strip, Darlene Melendez, 8 News Now.